Hi friends, welcome to DevOps Docker course video series presented by Narendra from Do With Python Technologies. In this video, we are going to see about your Docker run command, but in that we are going to see some of the options. They are like attach and detach. So what is attach and detach modes of your run command of your Docker? Let me start that. See already in previous video, uh, about the in basic commands of your docker we saw one of the command like docker run image name and we know that this command will create a container whatever the name you are going to give for that name for that image it will create a container and while creating that if that image is there local repository then from that it will create your container if it is not there in your local repository then it will connect it to your remote repository that is hub.docker.com from there it will download and create a container right and suppose if i run this command let me go to my this is my rhl server here i am having docker docker hyphen hyphen version and if you want to see your client version as well you can see docker version with the help of this you can see client information and your docker engine information okay anyway before going to create a some container let me check whether there are any images are there on my local repository or not sorry d-o-c-k-e-r images yes there are two images are there in my local repository okay now let me create a container of this jenkins image now for that the basic command is docker run your image name now if I enter here, right, observe that it's going to create a Jenkins container, but you are in the attached mode of your, your terminal. That means the log information is showing on your terminal and you are not able to interact with your terminal, right, with the basic command docker run your image name. With that command, you are not able to interact with your terminal if you want to interact with your terminal you have to close this session so that your jenkins container will stop suppose if i press ctrl c right now check here docker ps command so there are no containers are running see you can also use in order to check the running containers list docker container ls command you can also use this docker container ls so there are no containers are running right so actually this basic command is called attached mode because while running your docker run image name command you are able to see your logs and everything of your particular container on your terminal itself so that you are not able to communicate interact with your terminal if you want to communicate if you want to interact with your terminal you have to stop this process by pressing ctrl c but if you do that your container will stop right so basically this command is called docker run command in attached mode or foreground mode because all logs are showing us on terminal itself okay so finally because of this you can't interact with your terminal so open a new terminal to interact with your terminal right but this is not the best way whenever if you are going to create a container so docker run directly image name is not the best way but initially just you know to understand that this is the basic command in your run okay now instead of that suppose if i use docker run space hyphen d then your image name then what will happen first we'll go and do this then come back here See, docker run hyphen d jenkins so i am going to create a container for jenkins image observe here your process your log information everything goes background now if you add you are now directly you are able to communicate with your terminal there is no need to stop your process right nothing is there this is called detached mode of your docker run command so because of this whatever the container you started for that each and everything logs they will run or simply your container process will run in background 
so that you can able to communicate with your terminal now let me check docker ps now see your jenkins is running your jenkins container is running so this is called detached mode of your docker run command actually this is the useful command okay so detached mode or background mode for your docker run command okay it's like it's like unix process running in background see if you want to run any process in background in your unix command line at the end of your command you are going to give and or the red symbol right at and symbol right so the, because of that symbol your process will go and run in background the same process is there with the docker run hyphen d you are imagining so simply it will create a container but that container will run in background okay that is the meaning of attach and detach modes of your docker run okay so here you can interact with your terminal right okay as of now okay based on what we know about uh, from uh, about run command of your docker you can make a simple syntax for that so basically first we run simply docker run image name later right we move to docker run space hyphen d option then your image name so as of now what we know about docker run command based on that just i am giving syntax but it is not the complete syntax but it is a valid syntax up to now whatever we know based on that this is a valid syntax so docker run options image name so if you want to create a some container for this image just provide that image name docker run here options if you want to give anything here in options then your docker run command will run in a foreground mode or in attached mode so that you can it can't able to interact with your terminal but if you use hyphen d option then your process will run in background right so that's why just i formed a simple syntax so as of now what we know about run command based on that this is the valid command okay still we need to extend this command and about that extension we will see in later videos so simply remember that as of now whatever we know based on that docker run command syntax is docker run options it may be nothing or hyphen d options then you are imagining okay okay guys thank you for watching this video if you have any queries you can post as comments or you can also drop a mail to this do it python or the red of gmail dot so do subscribe my channel so that you will notify whenever we post some new videos okay bye